Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Schizomanic here with another Pokemon Journeys episode review. The journey starts today! The journey starts today! Woo! Fuck! Ah, the journey starts today, everyone. <laughs> Oh Lord, I have problems, bruh. I got problems. This week was a far fetch episode. What the fuck? We have far fetch in having episodes in this bitch. First, you show me Iris in the goddamn opening, and you talk about far. What is what is this? Is Journey trying to fix itself? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll still find something to complain about. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked. That is 110% fucked. But it's just something I'm going to mention. Uh, so yeah, uh, Farfetch episode. I think this is episode 52? 51, 52, I don't remember which. Uh, it's essentially, oh, here's Farfetch training to be a leak master. Um, and pretty much doing that thing where you throw in one fight that... Shows how strong it is and the potential it has. And then one fight that proves that it still has a long way to go. That's literally the premise of the episode. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the first fight lasts way too fucking long. And it gets kind of jarring because there's a lot of repeated animation in it. I know the thing that pisses off a couple of Poketubers I saw was the ranking that Ash has in this episode. If you didn't notice, Ash went from like... I think the last time we had seen it before this was like he was in the 900s and he has now jumped all the way up to the 400s, which tells me he doesn't plan. I don't think they plan for this whole. This isn't meant to be like the final part of the anime, in the sense that like it's not meant to. It's not meant to replace the lead. Like the premise of this is, I, I imagine by the time we hit the middle of the year, we will be pretty much either into it or about to be finished. With um, the whole uh, Pokemon World Championships. That's the idea I have. Because it doesn't make sense to have him jump up this high. In the course of a fucking chunk of episodes. In which we didn't even see the man train. Meaning the writers at some point can kind of just throw him whatever ranking they want to. For the sake of plot convenience. Which that kind of sucks. It just means it's not a real goal. It doesn't, it starts, it, if anything, you've just made the goal seem less genuine now. It actually now comes off as like, well, this, this isn't really Ash making his way up. It's more of like the writers picking when and to show him progressing. Although he'll always be progressing in terms of plot. It wouldn't surprise me if in a later episode they pushed him back down because they realized they jumped him up too quickly. It's just, it's just what they do. Especially if you've introduced reintroduced characters like Gary and Iris into this, it could easily turn to, and then Karina's gonna show back up, and we still have to finish the situation with B. It wouldn't surprise me if they went ahead and said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna boost them all the way up, and then we're gonna have him drop hard because he's taking he'll start taking L's from stronger trainers. Okay. Um, but the far fetch section, I feel like the steamroll battle goes on for too fucking long, and I don't feel like it was worth the extra effort. There's some good, like, visual shots there, but there's a lot of repeated animation just to, like, put in emphasis. It's the, the emphasis, the whole point of the fight is to show that Farfetch, although it's extremely strong, is also extremely, like, rough around his edges, meaning he has no, like, technique behind his actions. Farfetch is very much a Pokemon that just wants to power its way through everything. Boom, 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 boom. That's the whole point of that first fight. And because he's still strong, he can still win fights that way. But he's not hes not making the most out of his ability, essentially. That's the whole premise behind the first fight. So why the first fight had to take like 15 minutes to get that point across is a little stupid to me. It's not 50, it's probably like 10. That's a lot. 10 minutes is a lot considering you still have the opening and ending and you still have like that beginning section that leads them into the area in the first place where it goes looking for Geodude. Oh, go call the Geodude. Ooh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I really don't. It's not that important, nor does it matter. He doesn't even get to use it in the episode because the episode's all Ash battle focus. And then the second dude comes out, who, by the way, isn't even a part of the championships. He's just a dude who happens upon a battle and observes it. He's meant to, you can tell 
vibe wise, he's supposed to be like a rival. At least that's the, that's the vibe I'm getting. Now, whether or not they fall through on it remains to be seen. I'm just saying, like, I think that's the idea it's going for. And it's obviously meant to be the beginning of Farfetch's arc. And then, of course, he loses that fight because why not? It's a Gallade, the finesse, the style, and all that other shit. The technique, being one-to-one -one with your Pokemon. He's meant to lose that fight. What happens, he gets steamrolled in, like, two minutes. And I'm like, I don't really have an issue with the... the the, the key points of the episode, I have an issue with the way it's paced, where I feel like the steamroll section takes too long, and the getting his ass whooped is really, really quick. In retrospect, I guess that section, and maybe that's the problem, that section probably meant to be quick, just to prove the point that, like, when you're fighting against an opponent who's, like, one-to-one -one with their Pokemon, then there's no way you're going to beat me. Regardless how much power you have. Like, I get that point, but I feel like you drug out the first fight. Realistically, it just didn't... To me, it doesn't click as well. But I see what they're going for. And the print, and, and the core foundation there is fine. It's just I just didn't like the way the episode was paced. And I know I had some people were mad about the ranking jump, which... Hey, hey look, Journeys is really inconsistent about how it wants to write its shit. So, in that case, I'm not really fucking surprised. Um, and then the next episode is Diglett Filler. God, I really don't want filler now. Because you're starting a Farfetch arc that may or may not lead into something. I kind of hope it does. If it does, I'll be fucking mad. Uh, but I think we have, what, Wiltstrom's episode in, in, in the future? I'm hoping that continues it. I'm just curious. Especially considering, like, Wiltstrom is, like, the perfect character to throw at Farfetch. Considering his evolution, Surfetch, is a knight. Which is what Wiltstrom is. So I kind of hope it leads into that. We won't know. And I also want him, I want Ash to finally start beating Elite Four members. And it makes no sense that this man is at champion status and has like this god tier strategy 90% of the time. Except when the writers want to make him dumb. And they don't do any like good fights with Elite Fours. Just to put in context, Ash has never won an Elite Four fight in the series. Ever. 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 He's fought Elite Four members. He's fought Drake. He's fought, has he fought Flint? I'm not sure if he's fought Flint. I think he's fought Diantha. He's lost against Diantha. Like, champions, fine. I imagine, like, champions, he's not going to be just be out here taking down champions. But he damn sure should be, like, doing pretty good against fucking Elite Four members. So, let's have him do some Elite Four matches and win them. So, that's just my opinion. Unfortunately, beating Wilstrom is not is an accomplishment because Gen 6 uh, Elite Four members are trash. So, whatever. In the games, they are anyway. In the anime, we'll see. But in the games, they were absolute trash. But uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. That was an episode, I guess. I guess the journey started today. The journey started today. Mount this bitch. Clackety clang.